Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. All right, are you guys getting excited and ready for back to school? I am, I'm getting all the feels and I am way excited. So what are we gonna do today? I'm gonna take you along as I declutter and get the laundry room ready for back to school. I'll share with you our command center, how we're using the counter and the cupboards and how we're storing and organizing her curriculum. I have a 17 year old boy starting his senior year of high school. Oh my gosh. Our oldest is 21 and married and so we've already done a high school graduation with her. That, that was fun. So if you wanna see um, a graduation party and how we prepared that, I'll leave a link for that down below for ya. Uh, that was fun. And then we have a 13, almost 14, almost 14 in a month. A 14 year old son who is in the eighth grade and our caboose our last is 10 years old and she's in the fifth grade and I am homeschooling her first we're gonna start in the laundry room and need some TLC this is what the counters look like yesterday uh, not good need to go through them all right if you have something you want to tackle get your apron on or if you're going through your school things get your apron on let's do this back to school is right around the corner okay aprons on Let's go. I gotta get all this ready for back to school and just straighten up the drawers and under here, get it all fixed up. I am gonna move the printer out because it is dead and uh, so that needs to get moved out. We are trying to get a new one, but the one that Derek wants, it's been really hard to get in. So if we're using our father-in-law's right now, he gets a ton of ink and he's like, just use mine. I gotta use up all this ink. So we're gonna use his for the time being, but I'm gonna move this out. I'm gonna try not to use that space for the printer and just get all this organized, straighten up, and then I'll share the system with you once it's all done. So I'm gonna get to work right now. Okay, I'm making progress, even though it doesn't look like it, but I am. Um, I am trying to get all those bins that were there down here that way I can keep the counter bare because I would really like to fold laundry here. I am going through and I'm going through these drawers, organizing them again, making them neat. I've done really good for the year, but we gotta we gotta make them better. And then got some things going on here on the washer, just sorting through. My trash bag is getting huge. Time to work on the Sunday basket, bananas, it is what it is. I'm gonna get all this organized and clean up, go through the papers in my Sunday basket, so that way I'm ready to start this week off, ready to go and utilize that. If you'd like to see a video on that, I have a link below. Um, that way everything is cleared and I could just use this space for the cleaning supplies because this is not what I wanna see when I come in for the laundry. And just like that, nothing on. <laughs> I hope it lasts, but you know, that's why you gotta do a clutter check daily. I'm still going through this section here. I cleaned this up. I went through this whole box and all the papers, so everything that I need to finally make a decision on and put in these files are here. Besides the washer and dryer, I am taking these post-its off the wall because this is how I used to organize my videos. I still do the system where I would have an idea for a video, write it on a post-it, and I would assign it a day. I have a calendar like planner book and it's over by my computer at the desk. So I, that way it was portable and I could take it with me. So like when I went to uh, North Carolina, I had my book so I can plan out things with brand deals, with, my, uh, I do have an editor who edits some videos. She's amazing. She's doing such a good job. Anything were to uh, bump a video or I didn't have time to film a certain something, I could switch days and that's why I use post-its. So having that traveling calendar, I guess, um, makes it nice. All right, that is done. It feels good and I'll share that with you in just a second, the big reveal. It's nothing grand, but it works for me. So before I share that with you, let's jump into curriculum. So she does like scripture study in the mornings and we do some from the Doctrine and Covenants because that's where we're in right now with Come Follow Me with Church. And then we're still in the Book of Mormon um, 
for young readers. So in the, this one has it where it's easy to read and comprehend. And then here is um, the journal. Um, and if you're not aware, we are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And right now, we always are studying from the Bible and the Book of Mormon, and we're also studying from the Doctrine and Covenants right now. So then she jumps into her core subjects of the day. I got English, reading, math, and history from BJU Press, and she is doing the distance learning. So basically, she jumps online, she um, sees her teacher, there's a teacher for each class, and they do videos, they do instruction, and which is perfect. And then I could just go on and check. She could pause it if she needs help. I'm loving it. It's a little more than just buying all the bundles and doing them yourself, but it is such a help to us mamas, let me tell you. So she's doing English 5. Um, she is in the fifth grade. So this is writing and grammar. So it does a chapter of... Um, of grammar and then a chapter of writing. It switches on and off. It comes with her manual, a video lesson guide, which I never will use, um, some student handouts. So this will be put in a binder for her. And then this is the teacher's edition. I wanted to have this in a teacher's edition in case um, she needed help and needed more explanation or if we were gonna go to the park or be outside and do our lessons and not do it on the computer or if we're traveling, um, we could do that. It, it, these are the pages in her workbook and then this is tells you exactly what to say and do to teach. This is why I love BJU Press. And then she's doing Math 5, so this is her book. And then the teacher's edition as well, so when she needs help, I can jump on. See, this is what she sees, and this is all instruction. It comes with um, the student manipulable packets, tons, absolute ton. And then it comes with video lesson guide, like I said, I won't be using that. Student handouts, so this is going in a binder as well. I got her daily math practice that she could do really quick um, on the weekends or just once a day to wake up her brain in the morning. Um, we did these last year and she enjoyed them. And then we're finishing up 100 days of timetable tests. They're just quick, you could time them just to always be refreshing on the times tables. I noticed that with her, it needs to always be done. And then we have history by them as well. She just finished Heritage Studies 3 and she loved it. She loved it. We got her these president cards and she has them in order um, by who she has learned and she's starting to memorize the order. It's been so much fun. So this is Heritage Studies 4. I did get the teacher's edition because I thought I was gonna do this one just us and not the computer, like having the teacher online do it. And it comes with the CD-ROM. But she was like, Mom, I really enjoy it. Can She said, can I keep doing it online? I said, sure. So I have the teacher's edition, which I won't need unless we're, like I said, we're going to the park or somewhere. This is her book. So fun, she's loving history. She's a history girl. And then her activity manual, and it comes with student handouts and like testing. But I am impressed with their history. It is so good, you guys. Being in fifth grade, she is doing reading four. Um, it's right on her level, and I didn't want to go too hard, so this is perfect for her level, and she's excited. So this comes with a bunch of stories in it that they go over in the videos and things, and then this is her work textbook that she'll follow. It comes with an assessment and an assessment key. And then throughout the year, the books that they are going to refer her to read are The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which she's so excited about, Sarah Plain and Tall, and Medallion by Dahl Watkins. I have not heard of that, but these are the books that go with this. And this is also online with a teacher. She's doing Spelling 4 from Spectrum. She's already um, started in here. And then we have Spelling 5 as well that we'll do throughout the year. And then Handwriting. So these are from... Um, Carson DeLosa Education. I got him, I believe, at 
um, Lake Shore Learning Store. So she's going to do cursive. She's loving cursive. She actually writes really beautifully in cursive. So she was excited about these workbooks. So she's got two of these. They're done a little differently. And then this one that I got last year that she is still um, just finishing up on. So this is her handwriting. And then I found this Webster, Merriam-Webster Dictionary Children's Dictionary at Costco. It was $16 and it is fantastic. So, cause she had a dictionary, but it was boring, like the grown up dictionary. So when I showed her this, she was like, ooh, I'm, I was like, right? So when we're learning about a subject, you wanna look up a word or anything, um, she could do it in this one and she's really excited about that. These are some supplements that I got. Uh, word a day, this is grade five word a day. They teach 144 words. It builds their vo vocabulary and promotes reading comprehension, critical thinking skills, and concept acquisition. And so it's just something that she could do a day. We're almost done with her portrait re writing. So we're not gonna just toss this out. We're gonna s randomly use this. But then I got her this through Scholastic um, to help her with her story writing. Um, it, it helps banish boring words. It's like a thesaurus. If she wants to swap a word for smell, like words for bad smelling and burnt and rotten, um, if she wants to switch out the word sight, different words to use. And it just makes writing fun and it expands her vocabulary and helps her um, with transitions and opposites and oh, it's just so cool. And then vocabulary words kids need to know. So it goes over a little more vocab for her on those days where um, if she's not doing one of her main things, she could be doing these. So, um, so I got, those are just extra little helps for her. For geography, these are her state and capital cards. She's learning about um, the states and the capitals, trying to memorize them. We used this book last year, we're still using it. It's so good, it's The 50 States by Kenneth C. Davis. This is such a good book. So it goes over little little synopsis on the states, and then she'll finish out her daily uh, geography that we used last, last year, even though it's grade four, with the skills sharpener here. So we're gonna finish this out, but we're really focusing on states and their capitals. That's, to me, the most important thing that she knows the states, can locate them on the map, and the capitals. But I'm loving the daily geography because it goes over the earth, the longitude, latitude. It goes over how to read a map. It's those skills that you're gonna need, basically, if you don't have the internet. She wanted to do some Spanish this year, so we, I got these little skill builder books. I heard raving things about them, just, I mean, just to get the basics. So there's Spanish one and Spanish two, and then this Spanish level one book I found at Lake Shore that I thought she could do. Now, there's a lot going on here, but basically she has to, her main core things are history, math, English, and reading. That's like an everyday core thing. And then we're finishing off the safety course. I showed this last year. And then we started last year at the end of the year, um, a maturation program and maturation and sexual reproduction study units. This is through the good and the beautiful. You can actually see every page in this unit before you buy it. Um, to know if that's something that you want to teach your children. It is so good. The way that they do it, it it's amazing. This is a workbook that I got through The Good and the Beautiful for typing. She likes it, but she really enjoys typing.com and that's where she gets most of her typing practice. She loves to draw and her work is so good. She blows Derek and I out of the water. So we got her this last year, I believe at Michael's and she does a really good job with it she just grabs a piece of paper and follows along and then there's this one drawing shapes by shape by shape and so you just follow along here and then I got her a couple of other drawing books and then this one was from the good and the beautiful she enjoys drawing absolutely loves it and she's really good at it and then we're finishing up this unit from the good and the beautiful for science it's water in our world she's really enjoying this we've done some really fun experiments this is her journal that goes with it 
and so we'll continue to use that with that. This is her nature notebook. We're still working through this unit with her. Um, and this is fun because she can go out in nature and take notes. She's already done some. And um, it's nice to use in the spring and summer. So we'll be working, finishing that unit. When I am not working with her in science, the, I picked these two up from Costco that she could do on her own. This is fun. So it's an activity book with stickers. Um, there's so much to learn. This book has the human body, bugs, volcanoes, dinosaurs, sharks, space, bees, atlas, oceans. So it's a quick little two page mostly with each subject. And there's like games and puzzles like they could do with it. Got her this one too, um, because this one has biology, chemistry, physics, geography, geology, botany, robotics, amphibians. So there's a lot in here. And this has all the stickers in the back as well. And I got this at Costco. I grabbed her some composition notebooks to go with her subjects. She likes to write. The girl loves writing stories. She's taken a whole composition book and wrote her own story that looked like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. She had made her own and filled up a whole composition notebook. So she's gonna be going through these with her science units and um, with her story writing. This is my planner for homeschool. I used this last year and it worked out beautifully. So um, it has all the months. I just fill in, in what's going on. And then what I did here was she had more subjects than these. I just took a ruler and split these in half and kept track of um, her lessons each week. And it worked so well. It, this was such a great help. So I grabbed the same one from um, Lakeshore and it's by Schoolgirl Style. And then we grabbed her a Chromebook to be able to do her studies on with BJU Press. So. Um, because I need my computer for work so it was always hard when I had to work and edit and you know she needed my computer and so she got her own Chromebook to be able to do her schoolwork and then these books they're the Tuttle Twins um, they're by Con Connor Boyack these are amazing they go over basically all the fundamental things <laughs> to grow up and learn about our country and how things run messed up market and on the back, why do people make the choices that they do? Atlas. What happens when hardworking people quit? Show business. How does a child become an entrepreneur? Education, vacation. Um, the school Is school the best way to get an education? So it talks about other ways that you can get an education. These are fantastic. If I'll leave a link to those below as well. Since we started homeschool, reading has just exploded. It's incredible. So we've had these on our bookshelves for years. These are the um, the Little House on the Prairie series. So we are gonna be reading these together for tea time. I remember reading some with Callie when she was little. So we'll be doing those together. I got her from Costco the Louisa May Alcott Family Favorites Collection. She's already started on Pride and Prejudice from the great illustrated classics, and then Anne of Green Gables. I'll leave a link below. I can't remember right now as I'm filming the website. This lady is amazing. She shows you how you could do book reports um, with using um, like file folders and how to make your own, I believe it's with file folders. If not, I got the wrong thing. I really wanna say it's with these. Um, I gotta print out the stuff, but how to do book reports that go along with them. So that each time she reads a chapter, she fills it in and creates a book report using those files. It's really cool. So I'll leave that down below. And then from Costco, I got her the Lulu books. And the, she's so fun. She's so mischievous and spoiled. It's hilarious. And there's three books in here. She's already dug into it this summer and she's loving it. And then I grabbed Boston, this scientific calculator, but Derek thinks it's the wrong one. So I'm going to have to bring this back. But I got the boys some pencils. Um, they love, all my kids love the mechanical pencils. I love the Bic Smooth Crystal pens. Love them. And then I got her some of the skinny markers, two packages of those, and then a big box of 20 of washable markers. So um, the boys, 
I will be getting more of their school supplies once they get their list from their teachers. That's when we usually go out and get what they need. But I did pick up more printer paper, but we need a new printer because ours is dead. Fantastic. I grabbed these folders at Office Max. They were like cents. I'm not even sure. They were like maybe 43 cents. I don't even know. It was so cheap. So I grabbed a bunch of these folders for the kids and then some notebooks. One subject notebooks. Um, for the boys, so I've got plenty for them here. So this is some of the school supplies, but basically all of Shaylee's curriculum for this year. I'm just so thankful that I, I, I did a lot of research on BJU Press and just their, their distance learning with the videos. It's been a blessing this past year, so we did more with that and I'm really excited about my choices. She's excited to learn, she's excited to jump into school and I'm excited to jump in right along with her. Here is Shaylee's homeschool cart. It gets rolled over to either the kitchen table or the desk. I got this cart at Michael's last year. I thought I bought some round Velcro pads. I wanted to put one here and here so when she was done she could switch whatever it was, a picture or a flower or whatever over to here so I knew it was done. I swore I bought them but I can't find them. The sections that we have are Come Follow Me, that's where all that scripture things go. Her math one um, is her main math book. We're finishing up some math four for the summer. But there is her main math book goes in here. And then up here in this bin is where some of her extra things are like to go with her math up here is all those math handouts that I shared with you so they're in here and we'll just go in and take out for her lesson what she needs that day she can come in and get it but how I am planning out the week is that those papers that she needs those handouts will already be in her trap keeper and I'll share the trapper keeper with you in just a minute. Math 2 is all the extra math things like her um, manipulables and all her other math workbooks to help her. And then we have the English bin and that's with her English book. And then in inside they wanted to have, um, which I need to put a sticker on, I'll do that in a minute, and put grammar handbook um, they I watched the parent video and they want this all in a separate like folder like this so I need to put grammar handbook and then this one is her writing handbook so she'll be referring to this quite often during the year so I need to put stickers on those I'll just take those out so I remember okay so that's her English bin and then her spelling and reading. So here are her reading book, workbook, and then this is her spelling notebook to write out all the spelling words. And that is the spelling book that I already showed you. Writing and handwriting is all in here. Everything she needs, all those books are right in here for her. And then history fits all in here. And then science, I was able to fit both the science books and then I have an Evermore science book here as well. Here is her geography bin. So she's got the state capitals. She has some Evermore. This is grade four geography that we're still finishing up from last year that we are using. So that is in there. And then this one is books. So these are the books that we're reading right now or going to read or her book report books. They go in here. Like I said, this is her math handouts. And then this one is her reading handouts that she needs for the lessons. Now this binder is what we used all last year. I don't know if I'm going to end up using it um, just the way that I have her set up in her Trapper Keeper. I was going to use it for me for some of the homeschool stuff, but I might be switching that out. I'll show that to you in just a minute. Here is my planner for her. The one that I shared with you before. Um, I did fill out some of the dates in the calendars here. Now I just need to take the time and I'm going to decorate them because it's so fun to match the holidays. I'll probably do that on Sunday when it's relaxing after church and just plan. That's just so fun. And then her science, her nature notebook is here so she can grab 
any time and do the nature prompts. She can go outside and do those. I have some sticker books here for decorating the planner from the Happy Planner. I have a lot more holiday ones in my um, sticker bin. And so this one's just the teacher one and this is the student one. I had this last year too. We used and we got this at Walmart and it came with two little bins that I had in here but they had holes as well. So every time we had the pencils in here they would shoot through and fall out and get stuck. It was really annoying. So I found these containers at the Dollar Tree. So I just stick them in here. They just house some pens. In here is some post-it notes I think. And then we've got some pencil sharpeners, dice for a game, some more paper clips. So we could put the scissors in there. But that is the top of the cart. Um, so let me share with you the binder system and let's head into the laundry room. Here is Shaylee's Trapper Keeper. We found this at Walmart and she was like, that's on Stranger Things. I'm like, yep. And these were super popular when I was in like the fourth, fifth grade, even third grade. Oh my gosh, I love my Trapper Keepers. So it came with two folders. I ended up putting these little round stickers on them. Um, they help you protect paper and binders like this from um, pushing through and ripping. So she picked the subjects, like which color uh, folder to which subject, and black is math. And I already have the handouts for math that she needs for the first week of school ready to go. I highlighted them so she knows which days she uses them on. This one's paper clip because this one has two. So when she is done with them, she moves them to the right side. So we went over this and she knows that anything on the left side is to do for the week and everything on the right side is done. She slides it in so I could check it. Purple is English and then reading is yellow and she already has her reading things for the week. History and I'll be going through those handouts. And then spelling and she already has spelling for the week ready to go. And then this looks science-y, so I didn't need to put a label on it. So this is for science. And then um, comes with a little pad of paper in there. So this is her folder. This is what she's going to use every day to go over her assignments. And that's what we used this one for last year. We got tons of good use out of this. I put in these folders here um, and labeled them these pocket folders. So this one was the Come Follow Me math. I did put in here because I might use it for me. I'm not sure instead of always pulling out that big white binder I just showed you. So it goes over what she's doing for math during the week. There's one for English, spelling, reading, handwriting, science, geography, and history. We got some good use out of this. So if I don't end up using it then she could use it for anything. She loves putting paper in these folders for drawing. She goes through a lot of paper. She loves to draw. So here's the laundry room. I got caught up on laundry. It felt so good. Here is the counter. Look at that. Nothing on it. Nothing. Maybe in the fall with Halloween and some decorations in that corner but other than that I have no plans. A lot of you are asking do you still have Paige and yes we do. She's right here. She looks a little different because we got um, the lady who usually cuts her hair was out sick and we got a substitute and they must have not recognized in the notes that we like her teddy bear face and um, this is not so teddy bear. No, but that's okay. You're still so cute. The machines, I wiped those down, got them clean and so here's this counter. All I have is the globe and then Jonah and Boston's homework station. There's some college things in there for Jonah and some random things for Boston in there, but they'll get it cleared out before the first day of school. I ended up decluttering under there and straightening it out. The only thing I didn't do in here was this drawer with all my recipes and I'm gonna save that for another day and of course I'll take you along. So here's what we did, we left the calendar I'm using it as a family calendar. I already have some things written on there. Um, I brought in my YouTube play button. It was out on the desk in the living room. I'm going to hang it on the wall. Uh, maybe up here. I don't know. But it's on the counter right now with a speaker that I use when I wash dishes and when I'm in here doing laundry. I moved the Sunday basket over on this side. I've already gone through a ton of it. Here is a bin that I house all my Happy Planner stickers. Anyone that gets Happy Planner stickers, I have seen 
the mounds and I know I'm not alone at all in this. <laughs> so I don't feel bad. So here's all the sticker books, which I'm excited because with my planners coming out mid-August, sneak peeks coming soon. I'm so excited for you guys to get the planner. So I'll be doing a lot of planner videos and I have my stickers to go with the planner. So I just thought, well, maybe if I just keep it on this counter with the Sunday basket on it, it'll just make more room over here and not create so much chaos on the counter. I want to try to keep it bare as much as I possibly can. So the drawers went through things, straightened it up, organized it more. So we have regular pencils, mechanical pencils, pens. I love these. These are my favorite pens. Dry erase markers, dry erase markers and eraser, highlighters, permanent markers are way back there. Post-its, more post-its for like cookbooks and stuff. Index cards, labels. This drawer has all of these things to hang up on the wall for pictures and, and stuff. There's some markers here, the skinny markers and the fat washable markers some paint and brushes, tape and calculators, some more little pencil sharpeners, glue, a scissor, pins, safety pin, not safety pins, paper clips, hole punches, staples. So yeah, so that's what this drawer is and it's all organized. So what I did was I moved everything that was up here down to this cabinet. This is what we've got going on right here. I ended up putting the um, black magazine racks down on its side. And then if I need anything, I could just pull it out this way. Here are my teacher manuals. And here is where the other science units are. The water, the kingdoms and classifications, her maturation program, and her safety program with the matching notebooks in front of them. She matched the notebooks that she wanted to each one. We have extra helps here more curriculum helps, same here. All throughout her reading logs are in here. We have some paint, a three hole puncher, some school supplies for the boys when they um, head out. There's a bunch of pencils there. Notebooks, they can come in and grab their notebooks for school. Her, uh, her microscope, this has some crayons and some more markers in there. This has the um, glue gun and everything, some paper, um, cardstock and regular construction paper and then this one I am using um, with some of the other resources for her curriculum that us parents need so this has like all the video lesson guides and some other answer sheets like assessments and tests for all that curriculum that is the cabinet you guys a lot of stuff going on in here all hidden away down there and not on the counter so I could use this for folding laundry, wrapping gifts, whatever. I'm just excited about that. This is our command center. This is the hub. So we have the family calendar, it used to be on here. And this is the school calendar. I turned it around so you wouldn't see it. And then we just put any pictures or family and things that come up, um, invitations and things on this board. But also on here is where we keep the zone cleaning. And this is the kids zone cleaning. If you'd like to see a video on that, uh, link is below. If I'm lost and my ADHD is crazy, my anxiety is crazy, I know I have my morning and night routine. I have that down pat that's like totally ingrained in my in my mind. But if I'm like, oh, what should I do? And it is Tuesday. I know I'm doing something in the kitchen, like clean out the refrigerator, organize the pantry, like look it over laundry things like that and this is my weekly home blessing and i have videos and all this and i'll link it below pretty soon i won't need all that because the planner has it in there oh yes little sneak peek for you well friends that is how i am organizing for back to school for the, the curriculum for the home school the kids and their homework station our command center and i'm excited to start this school year it feels so good to get this done i feel like i'm one step ahead school starts just in a couple of weeks and I am ready for routine. My kids are ready for routine. We're actually starting Shaylee next week school. So I'm not sure, I think when this is posted, it's the week she's starting. We're gonna get a two week jump start on the boys. The boys start on the 17th, uh, just to get into the rhythm and how we wanna do things. It takes us a bit, I think. <laughs> 
we're just getting trying out the new BJU press. So we wanted a two way, a two week period to adjust and see if we need to alter things with our schedule and all that. All right, friends, let me know what you're doing down below to prepare for school. Are you homeschooling? How do you organize your curriculum? If you don't homeschool, how do you organize their homework, the paper clutter, all of it? Do you have a little command center? If you want to show me on Instagram, DM me. Uh, I would love to see it. This stuff is so exciting. I love back to school time. I love the organizing and the and the school supplies. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I hope you do too. Let me know if you do too. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me and we will see you soon. Bye.